what's good youtube and welcome back to a brand new video look man if y'all new to the channel i need y'all to do me a few favors number one like this video i'll appreciate it number two subscribe to the channel i'll appreciate it and number three make sure y'all turn on that bell man so whenever i drop a new video you will be notified once again i'll appreciate it also if y'all not following me on instagram make sure y'all go over there and follow me at lapaul underscore that is l i p a u l underscore especially if y'all want to say a different side of me from here on youtube here in today's video man i'm gonna be giving y'all a story time man let me know down in the comment sections below if y'all you know want me to give y'all more story times about what happened in my life and some of the things i experienced etc etc but here in today's video man we're going to be talking about how i reacted the first time i ever ate an edible with all of that stuff out the way let's get into the video all right, so it was one day, right? I was going to work. This when I was at Amazon. It was back in 2020, man. Yeah, I was at Amazon. It was one day. I was going to work. I did not want to be at work, bro. It was just it was just one of those days where as though I got out of bed. I'm pretty sure some of y'all can relate, man. I got out of bed. And I'm just like, man, I do not feel like going in today. But I didn't have no points to call out because I kept leaving early. So, you know, they was dropping my points. Pay sick, you know, UPT, all that stuff getting dropped. So, I didn't have enough points to call out so it was even i go or i get fired so i go in there then they put me on the first floor bro i used to hate being on the first floor because anybody that know maybe well maybe all amazon warehouses is not like this but man the first floor used to be hot as hell man no air the fan you can barely feel a fan man when the fan was over in the next station and the person next to me was getting all the air so I'm just like, man. So then not only did I, not only did I didn't want to come into work, but they also put me on the floor I didn't want to be on. So I'm just like, bro, this is a mess. So it was one of my um one of my coworkers or whatever. He was cool for real. And I see him running up and down the hallways. And I'm like, bro, what is going on with him? And then he finally came up to me and he said something. I forgot what he said. I think he he came to go get a tote or something, the little yellow totes that Amazon had. He came to get that. And he was just like, yo, I'm high you know s-i-h-t he was like man i'm high as and i'm just like really i'm like why are you like what's going on why are you high he was like you know i got edible or whatever yo downstairs selling them or whatever and mind you i was on the first floor with him the whole time i didn't even know that i was on the first floor with him but this is what's funny right remember the person that i just told y'all that was high off the edible he was running back and forth i'm like how don't nobody notice this bro i'm not sure if you know, the managers and stuff was just cool with him. But I'm like, bro, you mean to tell me he's off this edible? His eyes was red as hell, man. He just running back and forth through the hallways. I'm like, bro, you would have thought he was in elementary school or something. I'm like, bro, nobody noticed this. And he was saying, he was like, yo, I'm telling you, yo, you you should get one or whatever. These, they, they hit, man. They hit. Mind y'all, I don't smoke weed and I still don't smoke weed or whatever. But I do drink here and there, but I don't smoke weed. So he like, you know yeah go get an edible yo blah 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 so i'm like you know what i never had it before let me give it a shot let me see if i like it or not so mind you i'm on the first floor he on the first floor too but for some reason i cannot find him bruh I, it was four floors i went on all four floors for real because i'm like man i don't want to be here so let me just eat this or whatever and maybe you know this will get me through the rest of the day man it took me almost a whole shift to find him. And he was on the same floor as me the whole time. That was the whole crazy part about it. It took me like six hours, six, seven hours to find him. I was just like, bro, are you serious? All right. So at the end of the day, right, I used to get off. It used to be dark time when I got off or whatever. I finally, finally seen him. So I had walked up on him. I'm like, yeah, yo, what's up? You got the edibles or whatever? My man told me you had him. He like, yeah, let me go get one for you. So we had the little lockers and stuff. So yeah, he went back to his lock. I walked over there with him. He pulled out a cereal bar. It was a Fruit Loop bar. So he like, yeah, yo, here you go. I'm like, how much? He like ten dollars. So I'm like, all right, you know, bet I'm gonna take it. So then at this time I wasn't driving either, so I had to catch two buses. Two buses, man. Each bus route was like an hour. So I'm just like, man, let me eat this or whatever. Cause then the bus rig get you know filled up because everybody, well, a lot of people catching the bus also. So the bus is just packed with people getting off of work. So I'm like, man, I don't want to deal with this either. Like, I was just irritated that whole day for real. So I'm like, all right, you know, let me eat this. So I eat a little piece, right? Take a little bite. I'm like, man, why well, I'm not feeling it. Mind you, I never been high ever. Like, I don't smoke. I never had an edible or nothing. So I take a little bite. 15 minutes go by. I'm not feeling nothing. 
I'm like, man, is this going to start kicking in? Yeah, I'm like, man, please don't tell me I wasted my money. So then, you know, 30 minutes pass. I eat half of it. I eat half of it. So by the time I got to my, my destination or whatever off the first bus, before I got on the second bus, man, when I got off that first bus and I was waiting for that second bus, man, that edible smacked me right across the face, man. Out of, out of nowhere, I was just high. And I'm just like, bro, this is crazy. Like, just a couple minutes ago, I was not feeling it at all. For it to just sneak up on you and come just like that, it's just like, bro, that is wild to me. All right, so at the time, like, when I got off my first bus, it was a subway. It was a subway, like, right up the street. And I can see it from the bus stop, man. I, I had got the munchies because it's just like subway was teasing me. So I'm, I'm on a bus stop high as hell. And I just, you know, lock eyes with subway. I'm like, man, <sighs> subway sound pretty good right now. So... I go to Subway and get me a, um, what was it? It was a meatball marinara, I believe, you know, sub. By the way, what's y'all favorite sub from Subway if y'all eat Subway? I know a lot of people probably like, yeah, Subway, blah, blah, blah. I don't eat Subway for real either. I just eat it every once in the blue moon. In that case, that was the only thing that was around me, and it just looked so good. So I'm like, man, I'm ready to go to Subway. So anyway, yeah, so I eat the meatball marinara sub on the bus stop or whatever. I ate it because I had walked back to the bus stop because I was still waiting on my second bus. So I ate that smash that had chips and I drank a Sprite with it. So I'm like, man, that was good. So then this is where I effed up at. I decided, hey, let me go back there and get another sub. But this time I got a turkey and Swiss cheese sub, man. But still, then I got another cup of Sprite and I got another bag of chips and I got four cookies. So I'm just on a bus stop smashing, man. I eat two subs, drunk two sodas, two bag of chips and four cookies. I was just going crazy, man. And for some reason, it felt like I was not getting full. It seemed like I was still hungry. All right, so then my bus finally came, right? So that, that ride seemed like it was three hours. I don't know if it because I was high, but that ride just seemed like it was so long, man. So then after I get off the bus, I have to walk for another like 15 minutes to get to the house. But then I walk past 7-Eleven. So I locked eyes with 7-Eleven like I did Subway. Like, I'm high this whole time. So I'm like, man, that 7-Eleven probably hitting right now. I know I can find something in there that I'm going to like. So I go in there. Two bag of Flame Hot Cheetos, three bag of Ruffles, two ice creams, and then never juice. I'm just like, bruh. So then I ate all that too before I even got in the house. So all of that food that I just told y'all, I ate it all. So then when I got in the house, it finally hit me. Like when I finally got to relax and sit down, I was just nauseous as hell, man. I'm just like, oh my God. Next thing you know, ugh, I just threw up everywhere, bro. It was crazy. Like, I didn't want to throw up on the floor. So I grabbed a paper plate, even though that was stupid, because a paper plate is not going to stop no throw up. But, man, I just grabbed whatever I seen, man. And I was just earling everywhere. I'm just happy that I made it home before, you know, I threw up, man. And I'm also happy that I didn't have work that next day. Because it seemed like I was still high, like, a day or two after that. It's like it took a couple of days for the hardness to wear off, man. So I was very fortunate that I did not have to go to work for the past. I think I was off for the next three days. So I'm like, man, I was so, so lucky. But when I was telling other people that story, they was like, why would you eat the whole thing, dummy? That's why you was throwing up and that's why you was too hard or whatever. I didn't know. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't know because like I told you, I wasn't feeling it at first. So I wound up eating the whole thing, like the whole entire thing. Next thing you know, I'm just throwing up everywhere, man. It was a mess, man, but that is my experience, man. That is my story of the first time I ever ate an edible. I have had one since, but I, I didn't eat the whole damn thing. I took a little piece, and I let it kick in. It took like an hour, but I told myself, I'm not really here that episode like I did back in 2020 and just throw up everywhere, man. If y'all got a crazy story about an edible, man, that y'all done ate or a lick or anything that y'all would like to share down in the comment sections below, Y'all can do that. I just wanted to bring y'all, you know, this story time. Like I said, let me know if y'all want more story times from me. And I'll give y'all a couple more story times, man, because I got something in the vault. Like, subscribe, comment, do all that good stuff. And I will be back with more content for y'all soon. I'm out. Peace. Y'all have a blessed day.